Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Curious Minds Canada. In this video, we are going to see the 7 standard science third chapter heat lessons question and answers. First question similarities and differences between the laboratory thermometer and the clinical thermometer. Answer First, we will see the similarities. Both are made of glass. Second, both contains mercury differences between them laboratory thermometer temperature range is minus 10 degree to 110 degree celsius clinical thermometer temperature range is 35 to 42 degree celsius laboratory thermometer there is no kink near the bulb clinical thermometer has a kink near the bulb second question Give two examples for each of conductors and insulators of heat. Answer. Conductors, aluminum, iron. Insulators, plastic, wood. Third question. Fill in the blanks. First one. The hardness of an object is determined by its dash, temperature. Second one. Temperature of boiling water cannot be measured by dash thermometer. Answer. Clinical. Third one, temperature is measured in degree dash. Answer, Celsius. Fourth one, no medium is required for transfer of heat by the process of dash. Answer, radiation. Fifth one, a cold steel spoon is dipped in a cup of hot milk. It transfers heat to its other end by the process of dash. Answer, conduction. Sixth one, cloths of dash colors absorb heat better than the cloths of light colors. Answer, dark. Fourth question, match the following. Land breeze blows during night. Sea breeze blows during day. Dark colored cloths are preferred during winter. Light colored cloths are preferred during summer. Fifth question. Discuss why wearing more layers of clothing during winter keeps us warmer than wearing just one thick piece of clothing. Answer. More layer of clothing have lot of space between them. This space gets filled up with air. Air is bad conductor of heat. It does not allow the body heat to escape out. Sixth question. In places of hot climate, it is advised that the outer walls of the houses be painted white. Explain. Answer. Because white color reflects heat and the houses do not heat up too much. So in places of hot climate, it is advised that the outer wall of the houses be painted white. Seventh question. 1 liter of water at 30 degrees Celsius is mixed with 1 liter of water at 50 degrees Celsius. Temperature of the mixture will be Option 1 80 degrees Celsius B More than 50 but less than 80 degrees Celsius C 20 degrees Celsius D Between 30 degree and 50 degrees Celsius Correct answer is Option D between 30 degree and 50 degree Celsius. Eighth question. An iron ball at 40 degree Celsius is dropped in a mug of a mug containing water at 40 degree Celsius. The heat will. Uh, option A. Flow from iron ball to water. Not flow from iron ball to water or from water to iron ball. C. Flow from water to iron ball. D. Increase the temperature of both. Correct answer is option B. Not flow from iron ball to water or from water to iron ball. Ninth question. Wooden spoon is dipped in a cup of ice cream. Its other end. Option A. Becomes cold by the process of conduction. B. Becomes cold by the process of convection. C. Becomes cold by the process of radiation. D. Does not become cold. 
the correct answer is option D does not become cold. 10th question. Stainless steel plates are usually provided with copper bottoms. The reason for this could be that option A copper bottom makes the pan more durable B such pans appear colorful C copper is better conductor of heat than the stainless steel D copper is easier to clean than the stainless steel the correct option is option C copper is better conductor of heat than the stainless steel so these are the answers for the questions given in your ncrt textbook i hope this video was useful for you all if yes please do like our video share this video and if you have not yet subscribed this channel please subscribe it thank you